Our major has 33 hours of required coursework. But you also have to have um, either another major or a minor to complete it. We've had a lot of different combinations. A lot of students will choose something like anthropology or philosophy um, or English, uh, two humanities. But I, we've had students go through um, and double major in bio and art history. Um, and we have one uh, right now who's about to uh, get done with her program. He's double majoring in art history and chemistry with an eye towards going into art conservation. So there's a lot of pathways um, that one can go down. I appreciate the different types of classes that are offered. From um, we study a little bit of ancient art, uh, we study Renaissance, you know, Dutch and Baroque art, all the way up to contemporary art. We liked you to take Art 105 and Art 106 first, which are the two survey classes. So it would be art from prehistory to the Renaissance, and then from the Renaissance from about 1300 to present. And with those two courses uh, under your belt, uh, you'll be able to take all of the upper division courses that we have to offer. You spend the rest of your time mostly taking classes in a, a number of different areas of periods from ancient um, or non-Western art through the Renaissance, 18th, 19th, and then contemporary art. My survey classes, those are fun in their own way because you never get stuck too long on one topic and so you get a feel for everything. You really can fine tune and customize your major um, in whatever way you want to um, once you get through the basic stuff that you have to take. My favorite part of the major has probably been taking contemporary art. I, I love contemporary art and that's what I'm hoping to specialize in. I took uh, Dr. Cartwright's um, Northern Broke and then I also took Dr. Jordan's U.S. Art History uh, classes. Being able to recognize iconic names and, and works uh, and then being able to just sit around and talk about it is, uh, is it's a lot of fun. So yes, we do study some of the art right here on campus. One of the class periods we took and actually walked around some of campus here studying some of the statues. Given that opportunity to study the art on campus, you learn more about the campus, not just about the art itself. And so it broadens your horizon of WKU campus and your surroundings. Another course that you should take early on in your uh, curriculum is uh, a design course, either 2D design, 3D design, or drawing um, to get your feet wet. Um, regarding the actual processes uh, involved in making uh, works of art. So having that first-hand knowledge, I think, really helps a lot of art history students to understand what goes into the production um, of what they're seeing in class. That's very, very, very important. I'm so lucky that I have been able to take as many studio art classes as, as I have because I think as, as a historian, I know that sounds silly, we're still students, but as a historian of art, we do need to have a very real understanding of what it's, what it's like to be in the studio. You know, like the pool of paint and what it feels like, you know, to spend hours on a work and then have it critiqued. And I think it's very beneficial for the studio majors too to have art history courses because they go together. Um, you know, I think they complement each other and the studio artists who have art history classes are going to be stronger artists, whereas the art historians who have studio classes are going to approach the artwork from the mind of an artist, which I think that's our whole goal to begin with. And you finish off your experience with a seminar in art history and a class in art theory and criticism. So it's something I don't mind going to class and I feel like if you have a subject where it's just, you're not that passionate about it then going to class is just painful. Um, and I've never felt that way about any of the art classes I've taken here. And hopefully somewhere along the way, you'll take a trip somewhere on one of our study abroad offerings and get to see a lot of art in person.